Welcome to a tutorial video on Bitsy 8. Let's continue our discussion about how we can do things with dialogue. So as we previously seen, we can use dialogue effects, we can use the colors as set within the current palette in the current room, and now as part of this video, we can also add the various things within that room, the items and sprites and tiles, as well as the avatar, as part of dialogue itself. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I have the paint tool right here and I have popped out the dialogue tool right here. So previously we saw that we can add lots of different things within the dialogue tool. So I have a dialogue right here. I can add dialogue and then page break and then dialogue right here and then a different dialogue. So this will be shown, then there will be a break and then the next box will be shown. So we saw previously that we can do various text effects. So if I select this text down here, text effects, we have wavy, shake, and then rainbow in order. We also saw we can work with colors. So I have this selected, and if I pick the corresponding color, matching over here with the color tools, background color for ground, tile for tile, sprite for sprite. And then with this selected, I can hit this, and then this would be shown with this particular color within the palette. Finally, we're ending up on this last thing over here. So there might be some cases when you wanna give more explicit instructions to users or players. You might wanna tell them to interact with a particular thing, to collect a certain thing, or just what they should be doing next. For those cases, you might sometimes wanna put the item or the sprite or the tile inside the dialog box itself. Again, thinking of giving more explicit instructions to a player or user. So let's look at this. Let's tell them to collect something. So collect, and then what are they collecting? Well, we'll come over here to this right here and select it from our list. So we have avatar A, which is our avatar. We have cat, which is over here in our sprite. We have block, which is one of our tiles. And then we have T and key, which is our items. Notice, however, it doesn't give the type, it just has a listing. So we need to know which, it, which <laughs> thing is. So in this case, I'm gonna select just T. And then I'm gonna hit, put the cursor here, hit the little button, and it's gonna draw item T. So just to see what this looks like, if we go ahead and play, so I'm a cat, which we expect to see, there's the page break, and then finally collect, and then T as drawn right here. So alternatively, we could also say, interact with, and then maybe let's drop in avatar and we click the button and then play. Interact with avatar, collect T. Of course, we can't really interact with ourselves as the avatar. The avatar is the thing we move around. But as I've shown in this example, we can now add those things as part of dialogue. So when we're really interested in, in adding explicit instructions, what to do or how to do things, which is particularly useful within Bitsy since we're always communicating through dialog boxes, this is an incredibly useful tool for understanding how we do that. So among the things we now know, we can add effects, the first three options right here, wavy, shake, and rainbow. We can also add colors, again, those matching within the color tool. And then finally, now we can add anything that exists within our game. So avatars, our tiles, and also our items. Keeping in mind, of course, these are not labeled, so we need to know what each thing is. So you need to know which things are sprites versus items versus whatever as you're adding them. But it could be incredibly useful, again, giving more explicit instructions to a user or player about what to interact with, what potentially to collect, or some, simply what to do next as they play a game. All of this as we continue to build our knowledge within Bitsy 8. Thanks for watching.